Hi everyone, Ian here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assassinate just one point. So how to get rid of just one point in your network. So let's create a grid distribution. I'm just gonna turn all of these numbers up so we have lots of points. And then just because I'm going to add a random node to the scale channel, and then I'm gonna disable X and Z so that we've just got some random heights. Uh, right, so let's just say we want to get rid of uh, two points in particular that have irked us for some reason, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of them. So the way that you do this is that you turn their visibility off, and that will stop their meshes being created or their instances being created, and therefore they won't get rendered. So that's how you kill points in mesh. So uh, the way you go about this um, is to add a, a visibility node and. You'll see that in the visibility node, you can add uh, turn points off randomly, or you can turn them off one by one, like so, um, or using a map if you want to, um, or using a string. So if you've got a particular point that you want to turn off, you can put its number in here, its point ID in here. So how do you find out the point IDs of the uh, objects in a mesh network? Well, you use the point node. So if I select the waiter here and then go create mesh utilities, create mesh points node, this will draw on the screen all of the point IDs that we um, of all of the mash points. So it will also draw all of the other channel information if you wanted to. So it can show you their positions, or it can show you their visibility or um, uh, scale, whatever. Um, but we're interested in the point ID. So let's say it was uh, this object here that has uh, really annoyed us, and we want to get rid of it. Um, these two say. Uh, so we go into the visibility node here, and we can type in filter off. We can type in, say, 341, and that will kill that object. And then we have got another one that we wanted to get rid of, and that was, say, 316. So we do that, and then those objects are gone. Now you can also do ranges. So if I um, let's say let's get rid of uh, 361 to 365, um, you have to go in ascending order. So the lower number goes first. So you go 361 and then you put a hyphen in and you go 365 like so. And then all of those will disappear. And that's how you can turn off specific IDs in MASH. Just get rid of them. So there you go. Um, that's it.